What's up boys, Shane here, and today I want to talk about my Modern Warfare 4 wishlist. I uh, put out a tweet the other day and it got a decent amount of likes, and um, so I just wanted to talk about this in a video. Um, also, if you're not following my Twitter, it's just the same as my YouTube name, so don't forget to check that out before getting into the video, but yeah, today we're just going to be talking about Modern Warfare 4 and what I want from the game. Obviously, the game could still be Ghost 2 or Infinite Warfare, but it's really looking like it's going to be Modern Warfare 4 from all the minor leaks to the bigger leaks that we had last year to the fact that Activision said that this next game is rooted in franchise history which indicates that it's going to be a Modern Warfare game and not like Ghost 2 or Infinite Warfare 2. So what I would like to see from this game um, starts off with the campaign, multiplayer, and spec ops. I think having those three modes would really uh, just be a classic uh, for Call of Duty. Having spec ops I think is really cool and it's just something you can run through if you're bored. Um, they're really fun to try to beat times on. You could have leaderboards with your friends who has the fastest time and stuff like that. I feel like it would just uh, be really competitive and fun between friends trying to compete for the fastest times on certain spec ops missions. So I think they should include Spec Ops in this game. Um, next is I think we should have 14 new multiplayer maps. Uh, and I don't mean like some remastered like in Black Ops 4, but 14 new maps and then 4 to 6 remastered maps. Like classic ones like Rust and stuff like that could be remastered in this game. Uh, but I want 14 new maps because this just increases the odds that we're going to get some good maps and some classic maps. In Black Ops 4 we only had 9 or 10 good maps and of those I'd say only 3 or 4, I mean sorry, 9 or 10 new maps. And of those, I'd only say three or four of them are really good maps. So if we had 14, hopefully we'd get five or six good maps. Uh, that would be ideal. Uh, now, what something I want to talk about for competitive, because that's uh, what I'm really involved with with Call of Duty, would be separate maps for respawn and search and destroy. In Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, and many of these other game modes, you had search and destroy maps and respawn maps, and they were all the same. Um, but some of the best search and destroy maps of all time have been strictly search and destroy maps. Like look at Crusher from Infinite Warfare was definitely the best search and destroy map on that game. And it was only search and destroy. Um, but yeah, there's just I just think that maps that are specifically designed for search and destroy tend to be better for search and destroy. Uh, so we could have some maps like that and then some other maps that are like traditional three lane maps for hardpoint. I think those would be good maps like Throwback from Infinite Warfare. Um, maps like in Black Ops 4 Arsenal, uh, stuff like that could be really good for Hardpoint, um, but maybe not the best for Search and Destroy, and I think that uh, they should separate them in this game, and that would definitely be possible if we had 14 maps. Now I think that GB integration as well is really important. They had this in Infinite Warfare, and basically what it is, is you can get your game battles matches like within the game. I think they should take it a step further so even the match finder is in-game. But what it is, is that whenever you get a game battles match from your phone or your computer, this is like a competitive match, you just press join match on your PlayStation in the menus of Mar uh, Modern Warfare 4, for example, uh, or Infinite Warfare and World War II had this. Um, but then you load into a server and you don't have to add people on your friends list and load up a custom game and get all the rules. It's just easy there and they're custom 60 hertz servers as well. So the servers are a lot better, it's a lot easier and it just allows people to get into competitive. Now something that Infinite Warfare didn't have and Ghost didn't have, so I'm really hoping that this game has, is a ranked system from launch. Um, World War II did this best in my opinion. I think the World War II um, rank system was really good with ELO and they had it a month after launch. If we could even get it like three weeks or a month after launch, that would be great. Black Ops 4 took four and a half months to bring out League Play, which is just unacceptable and that can't happen in the next game if they want it to be successful and have a competitive following. Next are competitive team camos. We had this in Black Ops 3, but all the Pro League teams had their own camos within the game. I just think it's a small detail, but it's really cool uh, and just keeps people involved and competitive. Now next, no pick 10. Uh, this is an unpopular opinion, but I think they should go back to the Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 systems of created class and even the ghost system I personally liked where um, certain classes and uh, perks had different values to them like obviously some perks are better than others like fast hands from the black ops series is way better than tack mask so fast hands could have been worth a few points more than tack mask i personally think that system is better but since it's a modern warfare game and not a ghost game uh, we will likely just see the modern warfare system however i could also see them implementing pick 10 i wouldn't hate it but i just think that um, non-pick 10 systems create a lot more variety 
Like in Black Ops 4, everyone runs like Tack Mask, Dexterity, and then like Ghost or Dead Silence. There's only a few specific classes where you want to have um, other perks like Lightweight and stuff like that. And obviously if you're a pubs player, you're going to want to run Gung Ho because of how good it is. Uh, but I just, I, I really think that uh, non-pick 10 provides a lot more variety. But that's all my opinion and I know that a lot of people disagree with it. So you can tell me what you guys think about that down below in the comments. Now next is good score streaks and something that I'm really looking forward to for this game. Uh, no matter what it is, I know because it's Infinity War, we will get some sort of tactical nuke or something like that. And I W we had the DNA bomb in Ghost, I think it was a chem strike. Um, and then in the Modern Warfare series, it was the tactical nukes. And I'm just super hyped for those. They're really, really fun and something to just grind pubs for. Just at the chance of getting one of those really awesome high streaks. Now I'm just going to talk about a few gameplay tips. Uh, things at the end of this video um, I think that there should be a fast hands perk that allows the sprint out time to be less or just decrease the sprint out time in the gameplay in the background you see some modern warfare remastered gameplay and the sprint out time in this game is really really slow um, I had some good movement on this but I do think that a fast a better sprint out time would improve the game greatly and I also think we should have unlimited sprint as well or at least a perk that gives you unlimited sprint um, and then I think as well the time to kill should be three or four bullets and then I'm not sure if stopping power should be in the game um, either way I would play it and I'd enjoy it but I am really on the fence about stopping power and juggernaut I'm not sure if they should be in the game um, but I do think that having a time to kill of three to four bullets maybe five at long range for SMGs is ideal and having snipers be one shot kills in most areas is ideal I just think the faster time to kill is a lot better um, and it just makes pubs more fun and uh, yeah, so I think that that should be the system. I think there shouldn't be manual healing. I think you should just regen on your own like a classic Call of Duty. Um, and then there's a lot of other things, just like general things that I'm assuming will be similar with the Modern Warfare franchise that I'm not mentioning in this video. But yeah, I hope that these things are added into the game and these are sort of the general outline. If these things all came into the game, I would almost certainly like the game. Uh, no matter how it was. And obviously the maps have to be good as well, but I have faith that Infinity War can make some pretty good maps. Uh, tell me down below in the comments what you guys think about this. Uh, tell me what you guys want from the next Call of Duty. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. That's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.